This vast wilderness with two distinct desert ecosystems is home to one of the most spiky, otherworldly plants that you've ever seen. It's called the Joshua Tree. Joshua Tree National Park is located on the border between the drier Colorado Desert and the slightly cooler and higher Mojave Desert. A Joshua Tree is not a tree at all. It's actually a yucca succulent. Joshua Trees were named by early settlers who saw these trees and were reminded of the biblical figure Joshua. Joshua was a leader in the Old Testament who led the Israelites into the Promised Land. As the Mormon settlers were moving across California, they saw these trees and thought of Joshua with outstretched arms leading them into the Promised Land. The Joshua tree's life cycle depends on the perfect conditions of well-timed rain and a winter freeze. Scientists believe that the freezing temperatures damage the growing end of a branch and stimulates flowering, which then grows a new branch from there. The tree also relies on the yucca moth to pollinate the flowers. The moth will lay her eggs inside the flower, and when they hatch, the larva will feed on some of the seeds. The tree needs the moth for pollination, and the moth needs the seeds as food for her young. This is an example of a mutualistic symbiotic relationship. Because Joshua trees aren't actual trees, it's very difficult to figure out how old they are. Most trees grow annual growth tree rings, which are easier to date because we can just count the rings. These plants, however, don't have growth rings. After years of study, scientists have created an equation for estimating their ages. First, you measure the height of the tree and divide it by the estimated rate of growth per year. However, most Joshua trees have a different growth rate after age 10. So, with all of the estimation, some of these trees are believed to be thousands of years old. However, the most common is several hundred years old. Because of the immense size, this one is probably several thousand years old. This one, however, is a much younger tree. Joshua Tree National Park's desert ecosystem is also home to many other interesting plant and animal life. Some of these rock features are really cool too. Joshua trees are an incredible source to study, and scientists are continuing to study their growth and their amazing features.